We're here at Stoke Mountain Adventures. It's such a scene. If you guys are ever in Revelstoke, make sure you stop by Stoke Mountain Adventures. It's uh, 731 Haynes Road in the Big Eddy area. And uh, they've got everything you need. They've got a retail store. They've got a, uh, a full lineup of OEM parts. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of work to my boost right now. We got Jody from Whiskey Throttle Power Sports. We're gonna throw in some Ibex clutching on the boost. We're gonna get that thing out on the snow today. Go do some testing. So we got the Ibex clutching in there now. We got the weights, adjustable weights. So they have uh, magnets, slots in there. Different uh, primary spring. And uh, now we're just gonna work on the secondary. Going back together. What do we end up doing, Jody? What's the what's the Ibex kit entail? We got the weights, primary spring, secondary spring, and helix. I was joking around how it already feels so much better, even just in the parking lot. Just the throttle response and uh, the back shift. Pretty excited to get this thing up into the Alpine and let her stretch her legs. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it builds boost fast. <laughs> We're not anywhere near Alpine elevation yet, but the way this thing felt on the trail, I just had to get off. <laughs> It back shifts and revs out so fast. Such a fun sled. It's just a whole nother animal, isn't it? <laughs> Got Spenny beside me on the snow bike, Spencer Wilt. He's a pro enduro cross racer, and uh, it's like his third day out on a snow bike ever. So just kind of uh, try to show him some of my expertise and lead him into some of these, these nice areas that Revelstoke has to offer. Farther that way. I'm gonna send Spencer down that hallway that's got like the sharper stuff on it.
I knew what I was doing. I wasn't just falling down the hill. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, yeah. There he is. Did I do it? <laughs> Dude, you did something. <laughs> Baby. Destroying this little zone. We're only like 4,600 feet. The cabin is actually just right there. And uh, we're just taking it all in right now. I'm about ready to go send myself off of a waterfall. Epic zone, dude. Dude, this is great. So there's actually a waterfall over there? Yeah. That's gonna make it even better. Let's go chase it. <laughs> See if we can fall faster than it. Mike is about to kind of do a nice sick descent down into the zone. We tried to get him on top of drop, just didn't work out. Yeah. Woo! That is nice and deep. Yeah, dude. Okay, I see it now. Yeah. Well, I might just uh, loop, film loop. you guys from right here. Yeah. Or somewhere around here. What's the prediction here, Mike? Dude, he's gonna just butter it. It's gonna be nothing. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, you landed nice down in here into that. Yo! Can I get the turkey yeah, I got a sticker for you at the truck. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> OTP action! Still a win! Yeah! Still a win, buddy. We just finished up our little session here with the waterfall. And, uh,. We're gonna go ride the mountain now. We haven't even made it past the cabin yet, which is pretty hilarious if you ask me. But the snow is just so damn good. Hey, buddy. Man, you hit the tranny really hard. I did, I it. That's why I stoked the front. Yeah. A little bit, you would have got over it. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, a ghost pull. <laughs> Came up in elevation, we spotted another one, so. Gonna uh, try and send Spencer off of this one on the snow bike, get him some redemption. Oh, yeah, she's got a cut. Oh, 
Yeah, we just got to cut up, but uh, yeah, and I think like we'll ride under it, but look and just see where you want to land. <laughs> Having a ton of fun on today's ride, guys. This Ivex clutching is absolutely ripping. We're only at like 5,000 feet, and uh, the snow is so good. And we got Spencer Wilton, he's a pro motocrosser, uh, motocross, like just moto guy. Races enduro cross, off road, hair scrambles, he does it all. And uh, we got him on a snow bike today, and we're gonna try and send him off of this nice looking thing here. Right off of that. And uh, hopefully he lands this one. I know he was looking for some redemption after that over the fall or over the bars on the waterfall. But uh, having so much fun, just like coaching guys in, and uh, he's on top. He's ready to go. Let's let's watch this. Look all that ride out. I made it. Yeah. You made it. <laughs> Gonna do a little cooking. Got the, uh, what did I get? I got an Italian sub today. So we're gonna throw this thing in the foil. Put it between the muffler and the side panel on this boost to give her some nice cooking. Pretty important to double wrap it. Don't wanna get a burn. That's gonna cook the sani good. <laughs> Sorry, bud. All right, so that was actually very scary. Ben just borrowed my snowmobile to go do a thumbnail for their YouTube video, and the throttle stuck. It was all iced up. Luckily, he was wearing his tether, but it full on speared the snow measuring stick here at the cabin in Boulder. The sled is like damn near fine. It's good? I've never seen it. Dude, honestly, I think it's pretty friggin' good. Like, the bumper did its job. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out whether or not the AR, I think the A-arm is fine, dude. Like, I think that's just dust and shrapnel. Yo. It honestly, like, it grazed the bumper hard for sure. I think I've never yeah. been a part of. <laughs> that was insane. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm so glad that you're good. I'm, I'm uh, glad I'm good. I'm glad you're there, um, There's no more snow height pull, and there's a fellow over there that is very upset about it. Well, no, <laughs> and yeah, he's like, well, the man, now somebody's got to put that back up. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's like a little bit of bend in the arm. Bumper's bent. Backwards bumper for sure saved me a whole bunch of more damage. That. Also, my sandwich good. came out unscathed. Is it all good, dude? Yes, my sandwich is good. The sled's good. We're going to shred, dude. All right. All right, uh, Alpine cook review. It's a little flat. It got left on the cooker a little bit longer than I uh, really was hoping for. It started as a sandwich. It's starting to look like a pano, pano cooker. Is there, is there anything inside the bread? Yeah. Uh, went with the Italian sub from the Big Eddie gas station, but... Uh, She's a little overcooked, I think. Ben just ran my snowmobile right through the middle of a fucking tree. 
And uh, I'm gonna crush this sandwich and head back down to Stoked and uh, put a new bumper and A-arm on my snowmobile so I can ride tomorrow. <laughs> Looks like <laughs> Today's lunch is brought to you by Dr. Scholes. It's pretty good. I don't think it has enough sauce. <laughs> it's a little dry. <laughs> I never would have thought I'd be doing a fucking food review from the cab in a boulder. We put a full day in and we only made it to the cabin. So, cheers, guys. You're going to enjoy this sandwich. <sighs> Thank you.